this is an engine crankcase this is the gear holder arm setup one arm is to hold a lens shaft in the right and another arm is to hold a small shaft in the left side the next is the crankshaft it is connected to a connecting rod and a piston it converts the reciprocatory motion of the piston into rotary motion it is fixed at the vent provided in the case and this is the kicker rod we are placing this on another case and is gently placed at the vent provided in the bottom case along with its case the left side of the case indicates transmission shaft and the right side indicates the crankshaft along with timing gear then we are tightening the two cases with the help of 8 mm bolts using a t bit as a tool this is done to avoid the separation of the two cases during tilting the next step is to fix the release spring to the kicker rod to enhance the return of the kicker to its original state after being kicked the spring is inserted and is locked at its position the next step is to fix the gear lever so then the gear lever is set at the position the lever's arm is placed at the bottom of the gear holder then a flat vasa is placed at the gear holder and a star shaped adjuster to maintain the gear changed position it is then screwed with the help of a 10 mm bolt using a 10 mm bit its function is to hold the gear which is been applied and then a spiline washer is placed at the gear shaft into which the clutch bell assembly is to be placed first the clutch bell is inserted and then a flat washer and then a half cutted washer is placed and a flat size washer is placed it is done so that the removal of the clutch bell from the gear shaft is been avoided at a very easy the function of this clutch is to engage and disengage the gear with the flywheel its function is similar to a brake pedal when the clutch is in engaged position the rotation is transmitted to the gear box and when disengaged the motion is restricted it is also used while during gear changing process to avoid the jerky movements in the gear box the next is the assembly of a clutch plate in the clutch housing it is assembled in a clutch house in an alternative manner that is one steel plate and one carrack plate carrack plate is made up of as material called asbestos a total of four, four steel and four carrack plates are assembled alternatively and then it is fixed on the clutch bell then four pressure springs are kept on each projection which is on the top of the clutch housing and then pressure plate is fixed in the above the pressure springs and this tightened with the help of a 10 mm bolt using a 10 mm tool bit then the balance weight is fixed on the crankshaft this has a gear attached to it which transmits the power from the crankshaft to the clutch and the clutch in turn transmits the power to the gear box and this balance weight is fixed to the crankshaft by the use of a star shaped nut it is tightened to it and a cover is placed above it and screwed now the case is rotated to the other side and the timing chain is connected to the timing bracket which is fixed at the one end of the crankshaft also a tensioner is fixed at the to the nearer of the timing chain to maintain the tension between the chain during the rotation or during the motion in the next step the engine's bore is made to be inserted through the projection which is present at the top of the case 
the piston is to be allowed inside the cylinder bore and the timing chain is inserted through the square vent on the side of the bore. Then the bore is tightened to the case using a 10 mm bolt nut. Now adjuster is inserted inside the timing chain through the bore vent to avoid the intersection of the chain during motion. It is fixed to the bore with the help of a bolt. Now above the cylinder bore, the cylinder head which consists of a camshaft assembly along with the timing gear is inserted through the projection and the timing chain is allowed through the vent of the head and is connected to the timing gear. The piston is made to the top dead center by the rotation of the crankshaft. Then the cover with fins is placed on the top of the head to cover the camshaft assembly. It is provided with oil seal packing to avoid leaking of the oil. Now the timing gear is fixed to the camshaft assembly. The timing gear has a dotted printed impression which is to be placed exactly in correspondence to the impression in the case. This is done for the exact valve timing. Now the magnetic coil wounded with copper coil is fixed to the case using screws and a magnet is placed above it. It works on a principle that when a coil is placed in a rotating magnet an EMF is produced. This EMF in turn produces electric current which is given to the distributor. This distributor distributes the produced current to the ignition coil to produce a spark in the spark plug and also to other lightning purposes. And hence this is an assembled view of the 4 stroke petrol engine of Hero Honda Spender model.